Hi everyone, so today we'll be solving question 3. Let's take a look at the question first. Okay, it's given to you a progressive wave equation. Okay, progressive wave equation, progressive wave means traveling wave, which is wave that travels or propagates across space. Just like your water wave, just like your slinky spring, just like sound wave. These are all progressive wave. Okay, and uh, then it's an equation and the equation is given as y equals to 3 sine 8 pi t plus 0.4 x okay they mention here that the x is in cm and the t is in second okay so you need to be very careful with the unit it's not si unit it's cm okay once you reach this point if we are given an equation what i usually do is i will usually come uh, try to unpack the equation and extract information out from the equation how do i do that I do that using the same way as chapter 9. I compare it with the general formula. And so let's start doing that. y is equal to 3 sine 8 pi t plus 0.4 x. Okay, this is the equation given to me. I compare it with the general formula, which is y equals to a sine omega t plus kx okay, this is the general formula that we learned for this chapter 10 on mechanical wave so by comparing it up and down we can make a few comparisons okay, so these are the three comparisons that we see that we can compare okay, so what can we know the amplitude is just a equals to cm first thing that we know second thing omega is just equals to 8 pi radian per second okay it's still okay radian per second just like chapter 9 until here it's still similar to chapter 9 the new thing here is just the wave number which is 0 0.4 per cm okay it's not as a unit here they are using in cm so per cm so after we extract all the equations Let's continue and look at the question. The question, there's A and B. For A, they ask for the particle velocity, which is B subscript Y. At this specific position, X equals to 0 0.5 cm. And at time T equals to 4 seconds. A specific position, a specific time. Okay, that's A. B, B, they ask for the velocity of the wave v so we need to find the particle velocity v subscript y and the wave velocity v so we need to know the difference between these two things to know the difference we have a wave here uh, we have a wave here which is this green line over here so we are going to use this green line here to demonstrate to illustrate what's the meaning of particle velocity and what's the meaning of wave velocity okay so for particle velocity you see that they give you a specific position and a specific time okay so what does it mean is for particle velocity you can assume or you can treat a wave as made out of a series of particles so it means by each position each position here there's a particle and they are all oscillating something like this you can treat it as a series of particle oscillating and they are all oscillating not in phase therefore they are all at different displacement even though they are at, at the same moment they are at different displacement because they are not in phase each of them are oscillating at their own phase Okay, so when we say we want to specify a position, we are actually, you want to specify which particle that we are looking for. We are looking for a particle which is x distance away from the origin. We are looking for the particle at this position. So at this position, we can see that the particle is probably somewhere up here already. 
okay this particle it's uh, if you look at the diagram down here the pink particle represents the blue particle up here it means by you are for fixing the position you are looking for a specific particle then you know that this particle is oscillating up and down with an amplitude somewhere around here and somewhere around here so you know that it's oscillating okay somewhere around here and somewhere around here you can think of the equilibrium as somewhere here okay so in this case you can just think of this single particle here as undergoing an shm actually okay in fact it is an shm so you can think of this thing as having an shm so if it's having an shm so if you want to find a velocity you have to fix a specific time where you want to find the velocity i want to find a velocity at time equals to four seconds okay this is similar to what you do in chapter 9 actually so you are looking for the b subscript y at this specific position let's say it's still going up so we are looking for the v subscript y that's particle velocity okay so let's find particle velocity to find particle velocity we are going to use a strategy which is the same as in chapter 9 in chapter 9 you also learn that to find the velocity you differentiate the equation of motion just that in chapter 10 right now our equation of motion is represented by y if you were in the chapter of shm then you might remember that v is just equals to dx over dt where last time the x stand for a sine omega t now uh, because we have wave we have x and y axis so our displacement is in the y axis right now for chapter 10 and y is represented by this general formula okay slight difference but the constant is still the same so we continue with substituting the value substituting the equation inside okay we substitute in y so this three sine eight pi t plus zero point four x so we do the differentiation if it's a constant we can just pull it out so you have three then you differentiate the outside bracket let's don't be so long -winded. let's straight away differentiate the outside bracket so sign differentiate you become cos you keep everything inside the bracket you just write it like how it was just now but now you have to differentiate the content inside the bracket. Okay, 8 pi t plus 0.4x. So you need to differentiate this thing. So you, if you notice the differentiation, we are differentiated against time. So we look for this time over here. So if you differentiate what come up, it will just be the constant in front of t. It will be just 8 pi. So if you bring the 8 pi in front, it will be 3 8 pi cos 8 pi t plus 0.4x. So wrap it up, 24 pi cos 8 pi t plus 0.4x. So this is the equation that represents the velocity of the particle at a specific position specific position x at a specific time t okay so we fit in the x we fix, fit in the t then we will find the particle velocity that we want so at x equals to 0 0.5 cm where t is also equals to 4 seconds you can find the velocity particle velocity to be 24 pi substitute in everything cos 8 pi t is 4 second plus 0 
x is 0.5 cm. So if you substitute in everything, the answer that you will get is 73.9 cm per second. Because it's velocity, if you prefer to put it in SI unit, feel free to convert 0.739 meter per second. So that's how you find the particle velocity. Okay, we move on to B. B asks for the velocity of the wave. Velocity of the wave, you can think of the propagation of the wave across space. It's no longer about the particle, it's about the wave. So as time passes, I believe uh, you are aware that the wave, the pattern of the wave you move as well. So it be something like this. So if a pattern is not drawn very really well, it's supposed to be uh, the same as that that is shifted to the right, but you get the idea. So because the pattern is moving, this V here, the velocity of the wave is representing the velocity of the pattern propagating across space. Okay, we call this the velocity of the wave, or usually we also call it as wave speed as well. So to find this, it's just the V equals the F lambda that we learned uh, in SPM. But now we have omega, we have k, so probably the easier formula, the more direct formula would be v equals to omega over k. So now it's just a matter of substitution. Your omega is a pi divided by your k, the wave number, which is 0 0.4 per cm. So your answer will be 20 pi cm per second which if you want to convert it into meter per second, it will be 0 0.6284 meter per second. Okay, so this question, uh, we have finished it. First, we find the particle velocity, which is the SHM of the particle at a specific position. What is its velocity at a specific moment? Specific position locks the particle that you want to Check it out, it's HHM. The time specify which particular moment you want to find the velocity. Okay, the velocity of the wave is the speed or the velocity of the pattern moving across space. Okay, so we need to differentiate between particle velocity and wave velocity. So that's all for question three. Thank you very much.